Bell's Letra, Wikipedia article audio. Bell's Letra or Bell's Letra is a category of writing, originally meaning beautiful or fine writing. In the modern narrow sense it is a label for literary works that do not fall into the major categories such as fiction, poetry, or drama. The phrase is sometimes used pejoratively for writing that focuses on the aesthetic qualities of language rather than its practical application. A writer of Bell's Lettre is a Beltriste. Literally, Bell's Lettre is a French phrase meaning beautiful or fine writing. In this sense, therefore, it includes all literary works especially fiction, poetry, drama, or essays valued for their aesthetic qualities and originality of style and tone. The term thus can be used to refer to literature generally. The Nuttall Encyclopedia, for example, described Bell's Lettre as the department of literature which implies literary culture and belongs to the domain of art, whatever the subject may be or the special form, it includes poetry, the drama, fiction, and criticism, while the Encyclopedia Britannica 11th edition describes it as the more artistic and imaginative forms of literature, as poetry, or romance, as opposed to more pedestrian and exact studies. However, for many modern purposes, Bell's Lettre is used in a narrower sense to identify literary works that do not fall into other major categories, such as fiction, poetry, or drama. Thus, it would include essays, recits, published collections of speeches and letters, satirical and humorous writings, and other miscellaneous works. The Oxford English Dictionary says that it is now generally applied to the lighter branches of literature. The term remains in use among librarians and others who have to classify books, while a large library might have separate categories for essays, letters, humor, and so forth. In libraries of modest size they are often all grouped together under the heading Bell's Lettre. The phrase is sometimes used in a derogatory manner when speaking about the study of literature, those who study rhetoric often deride many language departments for focusing on the aesthetic qualities of language rather than its practical application. A quote from Brian Sutton's article in Language and Learning Across the Disciplines, Writing in the Disciplines, First Year Composition, and the Research Paper serves to illustrate the rhetorician's opinion on this subject and their use of the term. Writing in the discipline's adherents, well aware of the wide range of academic genres a first-year composition student may have to deal with in the future, are unlikely to force those students to venture so deeply into any one genre as to require slavish imitation. The only first-year composition teachers likely to demand conformity and submission to a particular kind of academic discourse are those English department fixtures, the evangelical disciples of literature, professors whose goal in first-year composition is to teach students to explicate Bell's Lettre. Writing in the discipline's adherence, unlike teachers of literature as composition, generally recognize the folly of forcing students to conform to the conventions of a discourse community they have no desire to join. In his Elements of Criticism, prominent Scottish-British Bell's Lettre rhetorician Lord Kames describes the aim of the Bell's Lettre movement as the want to discover a foundation for reasoning upon the taste of an individual and design a science of rational criticism. The focus of the belletristic rhetoric theory is on defining the characteristics of rhetorical style such as beauty, sublimity, propriety, and wit all of which play a part in affecting the emotion and reasoning capabilities of the audience. Also important to those studying rhetoric and Bell's Lettre is defining the taste of the audience, this is key to being a truly successful rhetorician or writer as another Bell's Lettre rhetorician, Hugh Blair states in lectures on rhetoric and Bell's Lettre, 
taste is foundational to rhetoric and necessary for successful spoken and written discourse.